So I am here at Web 2.0 and I'm with Jennifer at Scout Labs and I asked her about her unique uh, thoughts around customer service, around marketing, who should lead. What is she seeing in terms of customer service analytics? So the floor is yours. Thank you, and thank you so much for asking this question. Um, a lot of times at these conferences we talk only about marketing, and yes, marketing is in the throes of revolution, and there's a lot of changes going on and all kinds of new metrics, but, but customer service and customer support is, I think, really indeed kind of caught off guard by some of these changes that are, that are going on, um, and it deserves some, some attention. Um, so yeah, I mean, I was just you know quickly gonna give you a little case study of uh, you know one one client of ours, um, and I think traditionally we think about social media monitoring or tracking or measurement um, or customer engagement. It usually does, or traditionally it started with the PR department. That's right. usually the first to contact us, um, or then it's maybe marketing. But um, a couple of examples like StubHub, who is a who's a wonderful. Um, very customer focused um, client of ours, you know, their customer support organization was the first to reach out to us. Um, and their problem, um, well, I guess it's a good one. I mean, their total number of customers is going up dramatically. Their total revenues are going up dramatically. Um, but then they've got a team of 500 customer support people who are like good customer support people sitting in the call center waiting for the phone to ring. And the interesting trend is that given the advent of what's happening in social media right now, the phone just isn't ringing as much. People are not choosing to consciously engage with the brand anymore. They have other channels and outlets to express um, frustration or problems or those sorts of things. So there's 500 people now sitting in a call center who, whose new job is to come into work and to go find people having problems or um, maybe even just indicating or hinting at problems that they can reach out to, engage with, and proactively um, solve those problems. Um, well, that's actually good news for the call center because the most expensive reoccurring cost for a call center is agent salaries. I bet. Yeah, so, I can imagine. So, I mean, you know, there's definitely technology, but that's capital equipment. You can write that off. Right. But the most expensive thing is agent salary. So what I hear you saying is that people are, inter so they're not picking up the phones, the phones are not ringing, but someone has to answer the tweets, someone has, has to answer the issues in Facebook. So right. are you seeing those agents transforming into social media analysts and agents? Basically, yes. Um, and obviously, it's hard to do without being um, technology assisted, um, because then once again, you have the, the scale problem. So then it still takes just as many people to deal with the billions of, of customer problems, and then that's an issue. And I think what the technology solutions and tools are offering is, yeah, there might be a huge fire hose of, of, of problems or issues or those sorts of things, but what, what technology, what some of the technology tools like Scout Labs is doing is it helps focus them. So we'll rank things for the day, for the last 24 hours. Here are the people who have the biggest problems, the most negative things being said about you, so that when you walk in, you don't just look at a time-based stream of everything that's going on. We actually prioritize almost your, your, your to-do list for the day, um, which makes our makes these people a lot more efficient in their efforts. Um, so I think 